In this question, we're asked to identify which, if any, of these displacement equations describe constant acceleration. Our first equation, uh, we're given s equals 2t squared minus t cubed. So if we differentiate that to get velocity, we can get velocity equals 4t minus 3t squared. Differentiating that to get acceleration, we get acceleration is 4 minus 6t. At this point, the acceleration is still a function of t, a function of time, so not constant. Part b, if we differentiate to get the velocity, we get 4, and differentiate again to get the acceleration, we get nothing. So that's got no acceleration. Possibly you could describe that as constant, but I think in this case we want an actual value, uh, a, a non-zero value for our acceleration. Let's have a look at C, see if that can do it for us. Well, uh, differentiating once to get velocity, and we get 2t over 4. Differentiating a second time, and we get 2 over 4, or simplifying, that's just a half. OK, so that's actually a constant value for acceleration. So there we have constant acceleration. Let's have a look at D. Right, first thing to do, rewrite our displacement equation and bring that 2 over t squared into index notation. We've got minus 2t to the minus 2. Differentiate then, and we get velocity equals 3 plus 4t to the minus 3. And then acceleration is just going to be minus 12t to the minus 4. Still a function of time, so not constant. Finally, E then, we've got S purely equals 6. Well, our velocity is 0. This is actually stationary. Our acceleration will be 0 as well. So this has got no acceleration. So our only one of the five that has truly constant acceleration is C.